Hi, I'm Mateo, and today we got the brand new Halloween update in Pets Go. And with that came an incredible Halloween themed map, as well as a ton of spooky items. Unfortunately, with all of those spooky items, we also got a ton of pay to win items and game passes, including the new absolutely broken God potions. So in today's video, I'll be going over every single thing that you need to know about this Halloween update, including the good, the bad, and the ugly. And by the way, if you would like to win a free signed huge from me in pet simulator 99 make sure you are in my discord because i give them away every single day on there now without further ado let's get straight into this update all right you guys so the halloween update in pets go is here and this is what it looks like we got a bunch of halloween themed stuff all over the map now we can't act too stupid because these are pretty much the same textures that we have in pet sim 99 so it's not really like they did that much they had to make these graphics anyways so so they kind of just went ahead and implemented it here in pets go as well but either way it is still a nice touch and a good addition of this update but sadly it honestly might be the only good thing about this update because we have a lot of very bad aspects to actually talk about now if i actually go ahead and open my chat oh my chat reset but if you are in pets go and you pay attention to the chat a ton and ton of people are getting huge pets right now and that's because big games did what big games does and likes to just ruin their games all all of a sudden and they went ahead and implemented a ton of pay to win features into this update now really briefly we could go over like what the free to play options are for this update because there really isn't much if we go to the upgrades there is a upgrade tree up here called the halloween event now if we click in here you can see these are pretty much all of the halloween upgrades that you can get i'm almost done here there's only like four more upgrades in this tree that i can get now the only purpose of this candy currency that we have is just to buy these upgrades there's really no use for it unfortunately i thought there would be some sort of like candy merchant or something that you could spend these coins on to like buy things like the regular merchant up here but no this is still just the regular merchant that takes the regular coin so that's a little unfortunate now in terms of free to play upgrades that is pretty much all we got the only other upgrades we got were some additional skins for our booths as well as hoverboards so nothing very interesting there at all and those you just buy with the regular coins and then the last free to play aspect that they said they changed but we really have no way of telling is that they said that they buffed the instant luck potions now if if you check your instant luck potions it still says a million percent luck and 100k luck and then uh, 10,000 luck or something yeah 10,000 percent luck so i don't know what they mean by buffed instant luck potions but honestly i think they just wrote that in there to try to make it seem like less of a pay to win update now what i'm talking about when i say this was a pay to win update if we head into the exclusive shop here you're gonna notice a couple things now another thing that they said is they buffed the chances of the forever pack so i guess like the chances of getting these high level stuff like the instant luck threes cocktails and then they even added something called god potions now this is what i was talking about in the intro we'll talk more about this in a second but i think this is what has been enabling so many people to get these huges as you can see four people have gotten a huge since i just showed you like two or three minutes ago and i bet there's been over a hundred or maybe a couple hundred huges that have been open today which is a lot for pets go especially in only the first couple hours now it gets much much worse when we scroll down in the exclusive shop because you'll see these two new game passes that we got one called double dice and then one called triple dice so it's pretty obvious what these mean triple dice allows you to roll three pets at once and then double dice allows you to roll two pets at once now obviously these can't stack the most you can use are the triple dice and a lot of people seem to think that you could just go ahead and buy this triple dice without having to buy the double dice no this is like an upgradable thing so you first have to buy double dice and then you have to go ahead and buy triple dice which upgrades it to the third so in order to get triple dice you need to spend 2300 and 50 robux on this thing which all things considered like compared to pet sim 99 it's not like the craziest pay to win price but just the fact that they're adding this to the game and have no way for free to play players to get it it's just really just not good you can just tell where big games is going with this game they are just absolutely trying to milk it right away it's pretty unfortunate i thought they would at least wait a few months but yeah this update is entirely just a pay to win update for players 
As a free to play player, there's basically no way to get a huge. The way that all of these players in the game are pretty much getting huge pets is by using those pay to win potions. They're either using this or they're just paying for double luck and then using all the other regular potions. But either way, they are still paying to win. It is getting a little too crazy. And then you guys know how event worlds work in PetSim 99. They managed to actually implement that system here in PetsGo, the system that nobody really likes because this whole upgrade tree is just for this halloween event world type stuff like all of this stuff is pretty much going to be useless and you get all of these coins that you can't use to upgrade other things like in the regular game like all these other stuff and then they even created it like a whole separate egg that you're opening so if you head over here and change your egg into one of the halloween eggs that means you're only going to be opening halloween pets and that means you're only going to be getting this halloween candy coin currency so i'm not sure why it's got to be like a whole separate egg i don't know why they couldn't have just thrown like the halloween stuff into the regular egg so that we still have a chance to get these high level regular pets and maybe even the high regular huges but anyways these god potions are absolutely insane you could probably find a million videos on youtube of these youtubers paying to win buying this forever pack to get these god potions and then opening up a ton of huges big games didn't even go ahead and make a way for you to get them free to play in the game there's absolutely zero way at least according to what we know now the only things that you can craft are these pumpkin potions which increase the odds of rare pets from the pumpkin egg as well as the amount of candy coins you're getting now really quickly we can actually go ahead and test out to see if these instant luck three potions seem to be giving you any more luck than they did before now i don't have a ton of these but i do have a lot of instant luck twos as well as some rainbows so we can't go ahead and craft some instant luck threes really quick yeah so as you guys can see we can actually craft 12 of these so that is quite a lot let's just go ahead and bolt craft them unfortunately we didn't get a single one of them doubled so that's actually really unlucky all right so i was able to craft like four more instant luck threes so we now have a total of 20 of these bad boys so let's just go ahead and use a cocktail potion and then uh, I don't want to waste any luck potions necessarily. Well, we could just go ahead and try using one of these instant luck threes. Okay, I just randomly got a one in 500k. I didn't even use the uh, new potion yet. So that was just with the cocktail potion being enabled. So that's kind of funny. Now let's actually go ahead and use one of these instant luck threes. Now this instant luck three is going to give us luck on this new egg. So one in 10,000 doesn't seem very good. Let's use another one again. See what we can get. One in 5,000. You know what, you guys? Let's actually go over and switch our egg back to the old best egg which was this, uh, oh yeah, this mushroom one. So this should give us a better idea because we can compare it to what we were getting before in the last eggs. So if I go over here and use one of these instant luck threes, let's see what we can get. And we get a one in 75K, so that's nothing too, too crazy. Let's use another and one in 400K. We get a one in 200K fire horse, so not too bad. Hopefully we could get at least a one in a million here one in 80k one in 33k i feel like they made these instant luck potions worse i feel like i was getting plenty of stuff before okay one in 675k now that's good that actually gave us a ton of candy no let's actually go ahead and buy our next upgrade okay so it's just a booth skin so i guess we'll buy that but go ahead and do it again instant luck three give us something good i don't know you guys it doesn't really feel like to me that they buffed these instant luck potions at all I'm getting absolute trash. One in 200k. Get another cyberpunk dog. One in 625k. One in 100k. We're currently at 184 out of 255 pets in the index. So we don't really have all that much. So let's use another instant luck three. Hopefully we can get a little lucky. It's not going good, you guys. Honestly, really doubting that they buffed this at all. So let's just use one more. And cyborg panda. So I'm guessing you guys will have to decide for yourself whether or not it's true that they actually upgraded the instant luck potions. Personally, I don't believe it. I definitely think they just threw that in there just to make it seem like it was a free to play edition. But I don't know, you guys. It's honestly just kind of annoying how big games always tends to revert back to these pay to win things. This update pretty much gave like one hour of content for free to play players. Nothing really changed. And it looks like they also increased how long it takes for this merchant to refresh it looks like it now takes an hour instead of 40 
45 minutes. I don't know you guys, but the fact that they added the double dice as well as a triple dice game pass that you have to pay for and then added a brand new potion that you also have to pay Robux for is just insane to me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Honestly, up to this point, Pets Go wasn't too, too bad in terms of pay to win. The only thing they had was this stupid double luck thing, which was extremely pay to win. But all things considered, it still felt like free to play players had a chance in this game. But I think at this point, it's pretty much done. Let me know down in the comments if you have any ideas for future videos. I will definitely take them into consideration. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one and peace out.